being charged with here is a uh, criminal mischief, which as I read it says uh, a person is guilty of criminal mischief who having no right to do so, nor any reasonable basis for belief of having such a right, purposely or recklessly damages property of another. First off, I had, I had an absolutely reasonable basis to believe that I had a right to do what I was doing. My friends were in here being sentenced to time in a cage simply for chalking on another building over the summer and attempting to hold government bureaucrats accountable for their actions. There is nothing wrong with that. That is a constitutionally protected right. Yet my friends were up here being thrown in a cage. Therefore, I had a very reasonable basis to believe that I had a right to do what I was doing. In fact, I do believe that I had a right to do what I was doing. I didn't damage anything. I offered to wash the chalk off. I could have gone to the store real quick, bought some <coughs> Windex, bought some soap. It would have cost me less than $10 and I would have cleaned up the mess. Would have been happy to do it. You all heard me on video saying that I was happy to do it. Yet, Officer Feldhaus chose to take me to a cage instead. This doesn't seem right, does it? I don't believe it's right. According to the New Hampshire Constitution, Article 4, right of conscience is inalienable. Among the natural rights, some are in their very nature unalienable because no equivalent can be given or received for them. Of this kind of the, kind of the, of this kind of the rights that are the rights of conscience. I believe that was doing the right thing. I moved here to New Hampshire to do the right thing. Therefore, I had a very reasonable basis to believe that I had such a right. I'm a Christian. I act upon my, relig my religious beliefs. I had a very reasonable basis to believe that I had the right to do what I did on January 9th. Article 10, 
New Hampshire Constitution, right of revolution. Government being instituted for the common benefit, protection, and security of the whole community, and not for the private interest or a moment of any one man, family, or class of men. Therefore, whenever the, the, whenever the ends of government are perverted, and public liberty manifestly endangered, and all other means of redress are ineffectual, the people may, and of right, ought to reform the old or establish a new government. The doctrine of non-resistance against arbitrary power and oppression is absurd, slavish, and destructive of the good and happiness of mankind. The action that I took when I chopped on the building on January 9th was simply my small way of resisting against arbitrary power, tyranny, and uh, oppression. I was exercising my right to free speech. I was exercising my right to peaceful redress of grievance. I was exercising my right to my religious beliefs. did not damage any property. I was more than happy to clean it up. They stand behind my actions. That's all I have to say. Any cross-examination? No, Your Honor, no questions. Any you step Thank you. Yes, just a moment, real quickly. John? John? Do you mind if I get your picture? I'm going to be putting this together in a video, and I'd like okay. to have a good picture of you, if that's uh, all right. No, I have no, I have no comment about it. Oh, no, I, I don't need you to say anything. Just take a, a photograph here. All right, great. Thank you. And it's uh, what is your name, John? It's John Blanchard. John Blanchard. C H A R D, City Solicitor's Office. I wanted to say thanks, thanks for nice what you did, you. and you, you seem like a really nice guy. So nice you to meet know. you. Thank you. And uh, it looks like U N H prepared you well. I hope to be able to defend myself in some some you court. Coming, anything coming up? Or? Yeah, yeah, I do. I have some things in Keene, and I always wanted to be a lawyer, but now I'm I'm on the activist side of things. So I understand. I can respect uh, you guys. I do. I yeah. Don't, I don't, well, I'm looking to learn. Be that, uh, I was listening real closely to your questions and uh, rules of evidence, and I, I want to learn, you know, 